It's legendary, mate. It's legendary. I actually don't know how the volume is going to be when I start it up. Hey, everybody. This is Quimpact with a brand new Let's Play. Continuing the clicking it block of the summer, summer, summer. Hot, hot, hot. Super hot. Super hot. I think I'm going to make Thank you. Uh, how's our options? Oh, no, 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 no. Hold it. Hold it up. Speed this stuff up a bit. I probably want the voice a little bit louder. Music is at a good level. We could do the smooth shading, but I'd rather it look, look like it used to when you play it. And stack items. Uh, yeah, sure. Those look all about right. Well, I would hit the credits button, but let's just get into it. No title drop, because the title drop will be in the game. Oh, you can play Babby, or you can play hard. We ain't playing Babby, I'll tell you, we ain't playing Babby. We're playing it as intended. Hopefully. This is like loud enough for everybody. Is this a space game, you might ask? No. Is it a point-and-click adventure from the DOS era? Clear. Maybe it was early Windows, even. 30 years ago. 30 years ago? Who's that voice? Mega Burger this week. $3.95 for the combo. Yeah, I remember when combos were cheap. Halloween 19, and you can't see the end of the date. This game is voice acted. Here's a little pseudo credit scene. A lot of the art is uh, hand drawn. It's it's nice sprite work. It actually has some pretty impressive sprite work for for the time and era that this came out in. Considering, you know, ooh, look at that. That's a smile that a mother can only love. I gotta be a dick. You don't need to do this, kid. You're gonna regret it. Something tells me this is gonna change your whole life. Oh! Right off the forehead. You know, forehead over there. Whoa! Figure that I'd start this just to be like, this is like a, all of this is a test recording. <laughs> just to make sure that, you know, it works. To make sure that it works. That we're not in Helltown. Helltown, USA. I honestly probably should make the resolution bigger again. That might be a thing that I do do, is make the resolution bigger. It's a square box game, though. You gotta remember, like, uh, DOS games, they run in a square. Rectangular, they look all stretched and weird. And I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the game not to look stretched and weird. This is also another game where we'll be doing 15 minute parts. I think almost worth making all parts 15 minutes from now, but in some games it's not absolutely necessary. <sighs> Kid, what did I warn you about that marble? Arma is a bitch, and now your head is a pumpkin. Hey everybody, this is Coup Impact with Let's Play Tony Tough and the Night of the Roasted Moths. I'm gonna be real. I didn't have this game growing up. I seen it on computer shelves, like in software stores. Our boy's gonna speak. October 31st. The Earth continues to rotate on its rusty axis, just like every year. Halloween returns to pay us a visit, and the same every year. I ask myself where people find the energy to celebrate. That's a good question. Mysterious voice, who sounds like the most nerdy man alive. I'm a goddamn, like, stupid level goon nerd. All the way in the basement. Oh, wow, holy shit, that paper animation is so smooth, though. It was just a piece of paper slowing in the wind and it was smooth as hell. Without finding an answer. 
Let me introduce myself. My name is Tony Tung, private investigator in the service of this prestigious agency for many years, as well as a third degree holder in the order of Wiggs. Wiggs, I've been huh? working here out of the limelight for 10 years now. When a critical case was given to me, I have to stop a mysterious swarm maniac who robs the noisy hordes of children of their candy. And dear me, continues to do so. Oh, good but thing I turned up his speed. He's usually really After slow. After years of exhausting research and humiliating failures, I believe I am just a step away from the truth. All of this goes far beyond the theft of candy from innocent babes. Careful analysis of the profile and reports by the young victims have convinced me that this involves an alien plot to conquer our planet. The candy yeah, not is just pumpkin the point McGee? of a huge iceberg. What? Iceberg pictures. Mine is a solitary fight, shoved to the side and misunderstood. But tonight, I will demonstrate to the world that these are not the ravings of a paranoid private detective. I will show the world who Tony Tuff is, and I will stop this intergalactic scoundrel once and for all. Oh yes, this is my dog, Pantagruel. I don't think Pantagruel's a dog, I think he's an alien. You, you, you're, you're an idiot. Oh, I see. Okay, mm-hmm. So this is Tony Tuff. Uh, he is a private investigator, I would say, in his late 30s, maybe early 40s, if not 40s to 50. Yeah, I know, he looks like a small child. He looks like a little man baby. All right. So, you can move around by clicking on the ground, obviously. Very DOS. Uh, you have the right-click function, which you can examine with your eyes. Walk with uh, your mouth. Take the bullets from the gun or use gun well you know your basic interface it's pantagruel my dog that is not a dog so here's the thing about this tony tony is a real bubsy mcgee here he, he's gonna have a lot to say about a lot of everything and he's gonna be very objective towards me the guy in control of tony and a lot of the game's puzzles revolve around complete and utter fucking nonsense but we're gonna make it we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work who's gonna help him solve the case he's been out of the limelight for 10 years that is because the sequel of this game is also a prequel it's actually not in english it's really hard to find so this is another one of these cases where i'm well versed with the italian version of this and how do you use a dog? Let alone the English version at all, ah, so I've never I really played this English now. version. Pantagruel, go get my slippers. You sure that ain't an alien, bro? Ah, Maybe a hippo? It. Purple, though. It's weird. How about and I take that? why should I? The dog is already mine. Oh, come on. Tony, what the hell? All right. Would you quit chewing on that revolting stuff for a minute? You don't like whatever's in his bag? Oh, yeah, he's definitely an alien. There's no way. It talks. No, I said we're not going to the fun fair. Not tonight. Now listen, pup. Before we set about saving the planet, according to the venerable Archibald Wallace Little Private Eyes Handbook, we really must get ourselves a wig. I quote, a wig is an essential prerequisite for proper investigation of a case. Yeah, that sounds good to me, I guess. Now, Pantagruel, you take care of the upper floors. I might not be able to concentrate properly with all those people laughing at me. I'll call Oh my basement. god, he's so pathetic. So if you ever feel bad about yourself, this is a good pick-me-up. Understand that Tony what Tuff exists. A good doggy you are. That is not a dog, my all dude. All right, Tony, let's get to work. A good wig is the first step on the road to success. Tremble in your boots, you treacherous aliens. You son of a bitch. What are you talking about? What? So our first objective is to find wig. Can I look at the drawing? It's an identikit from an eyewitness. One of the most precise and reliable ones I've ever seen. Ah, yes, yeah, so the alien menace, I suppose. Have a Mother talk always that. used to say, if you can't think of anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Oh my god, his voice. That's <laughs> out of the question. I feel like the person who voices him is famous, and I just don't know. I don't need it. I have a couple in the wallet near my mother's photo. Okay, so you're carrying your identikits around. That's good. It reminds me of my old office. What is your old office, Tony? Great idea. As if it were custom made. 
Damn it. Yeah. What an imagination. Come on, you could take it. Let's just say I've already done that. What next? Oh, he doesn't want to take the door, huh? You want to be retribution. It was me who was in command. No. Take door. You no, know, sometimes I really don't understand you. That's good, Tony. I don't understand you. Must be you. really desperate if you want me to do that. You can pick up the door. I believe in you. It vomits slime and stinking air on me 24 hours a day. Well, maybe you shouldn't live in the sub basement. Why you should freaking I? Freaking Grenoblin. Now, when are you going to stop goofing off? No, I'm going to goof off all I want. Because <laughs> I'm... One, this is my first time through, man. Come on. Give me a break. It's a small collection of masterpieces. There's the Private Detective's Manual by the Great Archibald Wallen, the Holy Bible, How to Multiply Your Capital from Jesus Christ to Donald Trump. Oh, you Trump. can't speak? Oh, and sing you from the speak Nape that guy's name. All the secrets of the eminent Professor Luke Just. Whatever, Tony. Okay, so... Pantagro always leaves his sticky candy lying around. It's That's full of all candy? kinds of candy. So your dog was eating candy. That's not normally good for dogs. The relationship between my dog's saliva and the candy in this Ooh. bag is too high to be sure this mix is entirely edible. Well, then take it anyways. It might be useful. Thank you. The old tenant handed it down to me. May he rest in peace. I mean, he got gunned down, obviously. That's as dumb as trying to swallow a porcupine. Oh, you... You betcha, man. You got me there, zingered. Not on your life. I still have nightmares of when I took it down alone. You see those strange dents on the right? Well, they must be the impression of the teeth in my upper jaw. Ooh. Tony, you got, like, no upper body strength. It helps me keep the floor dry. Well, the bucket's usually useful. We took it in those other freaking games. You can bet your life that I don't put my hands there. I'm sure that some tropical disease is just waiting for that in that disgusting bucket. What kind of adventure game pro tag are you, Tony? You're not going to take the bucket. The bucket's important. How about the quill? The quill's not selectable. What about the post? And I believe it, all right? And I believe it. Forget about it. No, you use it. Better not. My office is already ugly enough as it is. What? Come on. I could try, but I don't think it would get me very far. Ah, how about old Betsy? I don't like the way she stares at me, but she gives the office a decidedly country feel. I guess so. Can we you use know, it? You know, everybody has a great plan that would never work. Oh, whose plans are perfect? It's don't true tell that cow's head can always be useful, but I don't think it's possible to remove it from there. Is he for, is he for real? I'm just, I, I'm a little baffled. How about a target? Can we take the target? White, red, white, red. Oh, he's taking things pretty literally. It's the prize for the speed with which I recovered from that nasty attack of botulism. They gave it to me at the hospital. Thanks for asking. Uh, well, I didn't ask, but thanks for telling. Dudley helped me nail it up there. I'd never be able to reach up there alone. Who's Dudley? You're, you're assuming too much, you, game. That would be less fun than you think. How about uh, this? Wow, just like the real ones. Got wash. <laughs> X-Files. <laughs> I can't open it. It's swollen from the humidity, and I've been trying to break it open for years. Jeez, Tony. Hey, but I have unshakable ethical principles, you know. I guess open so. Open sesame. Activate laser. It didn't work. Oh, how about the restroom files? It's not clear enough? No, 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 not at all. I won't do that unless my lawyer's here. Oh, hello. What's this? It's a continuous source of inspiration. <laughs> okay. Tony, that's a little it would desperate. Be better not to no. waste it. This stuff has to last me for the next six months. But we need it. Take it. No, don't. Uh. He's not going to take the. Uh... How do I make it? It would take be it? better not to waste. You son of a bitch. He'll open the drawer, but he won't take the item. You. Oh, there's our inventory. Pocket size hyperglycemia. Okay, that was that's pretty good. The relationship between my dogs. Okay, okay, I believe you, Tony. I'm beginning to run out of things to say. I figured eventually I'd hit the end of the loop. So yeah, no, Tony Tough. He's a he's a little guy with a lot of words. But maybe. Yes, I could, but I won't. Maybe, just maybe, they'll be able to 
Ah, see, to go to next screen button is a duck. He'll be able to crack this case once and for all if he can only focus for like five seconds and not be such a little whiny man. Tiny little baby feet. Look at his baby feet. I do admit, though, the sprite work and on the characters and uh, the background art is really good. It just kind of sucks that I can't do anything. Because our pro tag is literally the Lester of Unlikely of, of Private Eyeing. Some point and click adventure, guys, right? Well, they call it a cult classic, so hopefully and maybe there'll be some uh, fun to come and the tutorial just sucks. This has been Coo Impact with Let's Play Tony Tough and the Night of the Roasted Moths. I wonder why they call it that. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Next time, we leave Tony's office.